It's supposed to be a moment What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei. Make sure y'all subscribe if you new. Help me get 258k. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Help a brother get in the goddamn algorithm. Helps get my vids promoted. And click the bell, man, to be notified of my goddamn vids. And also, y'all let me know down in the comments what's your top three no skill, most toxic, most overpowered builds would be for NBA 2K21 current gen. And let me give me your reasons why. Now look, to wrap up, NBA 2K21, bro. Current gen, man. The game over. Nobody want to play this shit. This shit boring. This shit ass. All right? You know, y'all let me know if y'all still playing this. So look, I'm going to give y'all the top three builds of NBA 2K1. <laughs> NBA 2K21 current gen bro okay i'm gonna be giving y'all my opinion even though it's facts because it can't be refuted um i would be able to to outwit anyone in the debate to why these builds are the most toxic and the least skilled builds to use in the goddamn game this year and yeah bro like just just always remember my nigga always remember there is a reason niggas make these builds every year bro always remember that when you don't see them ever run on a point guard or a guard or anything like that running point or iso there's a reason niggas do what they do bro okay none of these niggas is real basketball fans bro they not doing it for you know they're not like iso niggas bro we are our own cult man iso niggas are trying to show you that they don't need something and showing you they night nice even though it'll never be the meta Everyone else just wants to win the easiest way possible. This is why they do what they do. There's levels to the shit, man, right? They're not trying to show they could do it out. They just trying to get the W, but they, they try to, you know, say shit's invalid and shit. But look, so number three, bro, we're going to go with the perimeter lockdown build, man. I'm going to have a link to all these builds besides the number one build because I never showed that on my channel. But, um... The perimeter lockdown build, bro. For this year, you can't use other lockdown builds and shoot consistently because you need Hall of Fame shooting badges to shoot in this game and make your life a lot easier. That's why the meta little comp dickheads, them niggas, made their perimeter lockdown builds wrong. You know why? Because they did the, the, the new red and green pie chart with more red and less green and not Hall of Fame shooting, and they fucked. But guess what? I made the best one. You can go check that if you want the best badges. I'm still going to show you in this video basically what I did to make him. And uh, if you want to see the best badges for them, you know, just go check out my vids, man. But look, so basically the reason it's lock shit, man. Look, you see niggas make locks every year. Don't be letting them talk crazy like they some god, my nigga. And they never run point. There is a reason. I'm not uh, I'm not just calling y'all niggas out. I fuck with you. Everyone got their role. But remember, you're a role. You're a role player. Don't be talking like a starter. I hate it, my nigga. Don't be talking like you the 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 super god unless you Swante, cause only I could do that. But look, don't be talking like you you the guy on the team unless you actually can run that shit on PG too, my nigga. A lot of you can't, so stay in your fucking role, stay in your place, nigga. But look. I got a lock too, so I know what it's like, bro. It's pick up and play. I can guard the best niggas and not ever, like, not even be on the game for weeks, bro. It's hella easy, bro. This perimeter lockdown build can shoot lights out from the top of the key, from the corner, and he could guard ball and speed glitch and give floor general to the point, bro, and damn near run point himself and run the two spot. It's, it's a glitchy, bro. It's glitchy as hell. And it's easy, man. It's it's real easy to use. I would give it the third, the third role. Even though playing lock this year is harder than last year, I'ma still give it the number three spot, bro. It just it takes no skill, bro. It's hella easy. Spam and square. You know, blitzing niggas nonstop. 
there's not really much you gotta do, my boy. I don't know. The build can do everything, and it's just very easy, bro. You know, it doesn't take much stick skill to play lock. You know how how most people run with these niggas? They just go for steals, bro. They just use their Hall of Fame badges, bro. Look, if they get cooked on the screen, you don't know what happens. Then um, the other guy steps up, and they just let the two happen. So how, how's there that much skill in that, bro? Like, and then if ISO, a lot of these niggas be getting cooked ISO, right? And you know what happens? Then they just rotate. So it's just, you know, then they just go for the steals and they trying to give you the body bumps. But then there ain't much you could do with that goddamn speed glitch, my nigga. That, that shit crazy. So I can understand rotations with that. But just overall, niggas be ass, bro. But this is why they use this build, like, just to get them Hall of Fame picks and shit like that bro but anywho for the number two build i'm gonna give it to the paint beast my nigga the all red paint beast man i'm gonna show you how to make this you want an in-depth overview just look at my other videos now look this paint beast shit bro i low-key want to put it at number one but i can't do it i can't do it i can't do it i can't do it bro there's a, there's just something else that's more toxic in the game than the paint beast bro okay Hit that goddamn like button, nigga. What you doing? Get it together. But look, this goddamn paint beast, bro. There's a lot of niggas with egos over this build, bro. Just inside centers in general over the years, bro. This build is the most toxic, no skill shit. It's disgusting, bro. 30 defensive badges, bro. God damn, nigga. <laughs> When, 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 when something on the court has 30 of something, that build takes no skill, bro. It, that means it's easy to use. I don't, look, I know everything takes a certain degree of skill. Y'all have to understand what no skill means. It means if I measure it to the degree of skill that something else takes, that takes more skill than that, it takes little skill compared. Like you niggas are stupid or something. Y'all think when I'm saying it takes no skill that it takes no skill. No, nigga. It means that it takes no skill compared to something else. You dumb niggas, man. What, where did y'all go to school? But look, man. This goddamn build, bro. It can guard ball. It has speeds of over 90. Rebounds of 99. Steals of 99. High-ass interior. High-ass perimeter. Lateral quickness. It can guard ball right it can set the biggest bodies it can contact dunk it can speed glitch it can alley-oop and be unstoppable alley-oops are the most broken it's ever been it can post score it can do all this shit bro right and listen even on offense my nigga the screens are so strong that and then with the combination of a play shot just going crazy the screens are so strong that you have to double the nigga and like to a degree like you have to od hedge if you're playing a good play shot and then that's gonna give you the perfect angle to just dunk it on anyone like if you switch off to the lock you can literally baby him and not have any skill you could just hold square if the guard comes down, most of the time, you need another paint beast to even kind of stop that nigga. But you really can't stop him if you're one step behind. Even if he's in front of you, you can still barely stop him with the alley-oop cheese. It takes no fucking skill, bro. It's disgusting. These, these center builds are just too overpowered, bro. In basketball, bro... I know team game, all this other shit. Yeah, team game, not overpowered alley-oop or three every play, my nigga. It's not like that, bro. Niggas aren't even running real plays, bro. Like, they're just abusing the game. Like, there should not be a center build that can guard a guard that has 99 speed. A center build shouldn't have 90 speed, bro. It's, it's fucking trash, my nigga. I'm telling you, it's ass. I know centers are easier to cook still, but look, this is like an oversized 
pure speed lockdown build. Look, in this game, I don't give a fuck what nobody says. Paint Beast can guard the ball better than perimeter locks, my nigga. They're just as fast. They're bigger. They have 30 defensive badges, my nigga. I do not give a fuck, my nigga. They're bigger. Their wingspan, it's, it's just how it is, bro. I, I think they deserve a tremendous nerf, my nigga. They can do everything on the court, bro. And then if if the guard doesn't, you know, fade or get get his fade, which would be very rare because screens are so overpowered and y'all don't get y'all's oop, guess what? He's a bailout. He can just grab the ball and just score. It's trash, my nigga. It's really trash. Takes the fun out the game. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, hoe. I think if centers are were more role players overall and the same with lockdowns this game would start taking a lot more skill my nigga you know just like the older 2ks bro to where when niggas would have like you know more niggas that could handle the ball like so you really get to see what a nigga can really do you know and like everyone can guard ball like then you you really see bro I don't know, man. It's hard to explain. I'm going to give the Paint Beast number two. Very toxic build. The number one build, man. I'm going to give y'all. <laughs> is a Paint Beast. Look. Now look. A Paint. Nigga ruining the video. You dumb dickhead. Listen to this nigga. Listen. This nigga still going. Listen. Listen. This nigga still going. Listen, <laughs> so guess what? Post scores in NBA 2K21 current gen, nigga, 7-3, max wingspan, 30 finishing. These niggas have the name Paint Beast, so you think he's a Paint Beast all the other, all of a sudden he's a post scorer, and you don't really know. And you don't know that he doesn't have Hall of Fame defensive and that he only has like 11 defensive badges, which is still plenty because you're 7'3 with max wingspan. Let me tell you about this, Bill, right? These motherfucking developers done had post scores overpowered since 2K17, my nigga. Post scores have been the best build in the game since 2K17. Now, listen. They not OP in Pro-Am, right? I mean, they would still be, but it's more of a liability because of Paint Beast. This is why I wanted to put Paint Beast, the pure red Paint Beast, number one. Because Paint Beast can run every mode in the fucking game, nigga. They can run the ones, the twos, the threes, <laughs> the fours when those events come out, and the fives, nigga. They run all events. Glass cleaner finishers, same thing that, that I'm talking about, bro. Talking about the pure red pie chart. They can run all of them, but the post score stays in the ones and the twos. They can do the threes, but, uh, you know, you might come in some troubles because niggas will come and double you, and you, you have less room, but on the ones and the twos, you got hella room, man. And if they come double, you got a free three or some shit like that, bro. Or people run toxic lineups like Paint Beast and Post Score, my nigga. Imagine the type of human you have to be to run a Post Score and a Paint Beast. <laughs> Think about it. Like you have to be the scum of the world. Bro, you really have to be the scum of the world, my nigga. Think about that shit. Post hooks can go in from the free throw line with a 99. You can jump in his face and they still score it almost every time at will. And if you miss, your paint beast will outboard the guard. Or whatever the fuck the build is. Like It's like, what's the point of a guard? It's like, damn, nigga. And you can speed boost with him. And you can speed glitch. You can post speed boost and all this shit. So you're basically as fast as a guard, as a post scorer. I don't know why more people don't use this build in fives and stuff like that. And fives and I don't know. 
I, I, I think they would do well, to be honest, bro. Like, dead ass. But, um, I guess maybe the speed, since you're going up and down. <clears throat> and you're not going to be able to roll as fast if you're running the center. Maybe you have to run an undersized post. You know, stuff like that. I don't really watch too much Pro-Am these days. But I'm going to give this, like, number one, like, because... There's really not much you can do, bro. There's not much versus man. I I don't know, bro. This paint beast, this paint beast, bro. Bro, I hate paint beast, my nigga. I, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. A pure red pie chart shouldn't even exist, my nigga. <laughs> I'm being dead ass. Anywho, man, that's my top three list. I know a lot of y'all gonna be like, play shots, play shots, play shots, play shots. I get it, I get it. You know they can ISO. They can use screens, the most popular build. But still, at the end of the day, even with the speed glitch, they take more skill to use than a fucking post score in a paint beast, bro. I don't care what nobody says, my nigga. At the end of the day, bro, they still take more skill. Y'all let me know if y'all agree with that. It's still facts, my nigga. At the end of the day, my nigga. Maybe among the guard positions, they're up top. But I think there's actually another guard build that's better than the play shots. But it's just, it just didn't become a wave. I'm sure it would have become a wave. Someone like me would have just had to show them. But, hey, man. Anywho, man, make sure y'all subscribe to my second channel, man. I got a lot of funny, toxic, uncensored shit on there. Subscribe if you knew. Let me know your top three. Let me know how you want the balancing to be in um, next gen, bruh. Subscribe if you know. Hit that goddamn like button. Help me get re recommended. Turn on post notice. Follow me on Twitter. Follow all my other social media. Everything's in the description. And I'm out this hole, bruh.